welcome to my kitchen so I don't want my channel to just be like makeup content I sort of want to do a bit of lifestyle and things that I'm interested in so today I'm going to be doing a cook with me video and we're making quiche just a quiche Lorraine nice and simple nice and easy and it's also low FODMAP and gluten free because I struggle with IBS so I used to make quiches all the time last year and I've actually lost the recipe that I usually use so today is trying a new one so we'll see how it turns out. If you enjoy this makeup look that I'm wearing I've also filmed a video on that so I'm not sure if it'll be up when I publish this or if I'll be posting it next but yeah expect to see a few cook with me videos, perhaps some bullet journaling, maybe some crafting and I think it's just going to become a bit more of a lifestyle channel. But I hope you enjoy and I will show you the finished product. To start with, you add the gluten free plain flour to the cubed butter and then you knead it together until the mixture resembles fine breadcrumbs. I'm not really very good at this, so a cheat's way of doing it is to just put the flour and the breadcrumbs in a food processor and then blend them until it looks like breadcrumbs. Or you can try and do this method like me, I think it's called the rubbing out method, but I'm actually not sure. I'm no baker, so don't quote me on that. But it doesn't really matter if it's not completely fine, it just makes the pastry a bit crumblier. But it's gluten free, so it's going to be crumbly anyway, so just do your best, basically. Next, you need to add an egg to your pastry, so you have to make sure you beat that first, and then you mix that into your flour, butter, bread crummy mixture to try and form a dough. Now, I forgot to add salt to my flour, so you can always salt your mixture at this point. And to make it that dough consistency, you can use one to two teaspoons of water to loosen it off a little bit and make it that sticky texture that you need to be able to roll it out. So once you've mushed that all together into a dough, you then squish it into a ball, cover it with cling film and refrigerate it for about two hours. When you take your dough out of the fridge, preheat your oven to 230 degrees C. Now you're going to be rolling your dough out, so make sure you put some flour on your workstation and on your rolling pin to try and stop the dough from sticking and knead it out and roll it out until it's about mm, half a centimetre in thickness. Once your dough is at the right thickness, you can then use it to start lining your baking tray or quiche tray. Now this recipe that I'm following makes enough pastry and filling to fill one 23 centimetre dish and one 18 centimetre dish, as long as they're quite shallow. If you have deep quiche tins, then it'll only fill one 23 centimetre dish. Once you've lined your quiche tray with your pastry, you then cover the pastry with tin foil and place in your preheated oven to bake for nine minutes. After nine minutes, you uncover the pastry and bake it for a further three minutes. Now we move on to the filling. To start with, you need 350 millilitres of oat milk. You'll then add three eggs to this milk and beat it all together. Once your egg and milk mixture reaches a nice smooth, thickish consistency, you then add your cheese. So I've used 125 grams, roughly, of mature cheddar. And you add half your cheddar in now to the eggy mixture and you save the other half to go in on top of the quiche once you've added the egg to your pastry cases. We then add our chives. I've used two tablespoons of chives and they're very finely chopped. And you mix those in before adding a sprinkling of mixed herbs or Italian herbs, whichever is your seasoning of preference, and some black pepper. Now you've added everything to your filling mixture, you whisk it all together until it's a thick, smooth texture and everything's pretty evenly distributed throughout. 
now we're on to the fun part of making a quiche where we actually get to build it and put it all together. So you take your pastry cases out of the oven and then sprinkle your cooked ham. I've used 125 grams, but you could use six rashers of bacon if you prefer and some chives to form a sort of base layer. You then top this with your egg mixture before sprinkling with the leftover cheese so that when it goes in the oven you get this nice cheesy crispy layer over the top of your egg it's delicious so these are the final quiches i hope you enjoyed cooking with me today and i look forward to seeing you guys at my next video bye